Hi, I'm Dr. Garni Barkadarian, and this is a PNI Minute. One of the major concerns people have is to develop dementia, and certainly Alzheimer's and a number of different types of dementia are very prevalent, particularly in the elderly population. However, in a minority of patients, we can identify those that may have some reversible causes of dementia. And after a thorough workup, one of the reversible types could be normal pressure hydrocephalus, which is where you have an excess of fluid in the brain pushing on the brain from the inside and not letting it work uh, appropriately. And by draining fluid, we help optimize the efficiency of the brain. And this allows for improved neurocognitive activity. How would a patient know that you have hydrocephalus? Well, the first question to ask is, do you have any symptoms that you're worried about? Really, we're trying to treat symptoms and not imaging findings. So the, the main triad of normal pressure hydrocephalus is memory difficulties, walking difficulties or ambulation difficulties, and urinary incontinence. At that point, in conjunction with your primary care physician, it would be a good idea to consider neuroimaging, ideally an MRI of the brain, or even a CAT scan would suffice. And from that point forward, one would identify if you truly have this, and we can do the confirmatory tests to follow. Here at the Pacific Adult Hydrocephalus Center, along with my colleagues, Dr. Daniel Franz, and the rest of our team, we have a very formulaic approach to identifying patients who may have this condition and treating them accordingly. One of the major challenges with normal pressure hydrocephalus is getting to a correct diagnosis. And while it is more prevalent as people get older, there is a lot of variability in how people are diagnosed, what type of tests that we need to perform, and ultimately what type of treatments are necessary. If one does have normal pressure hydrocephalus, the steps that we take are to first evaluate you. We would often obtain an MRI of the brain if possible, and in particular, specific sequences of an MRI that identify the flow of cerebrospinal fluid, as this is what we are ascertaining. If we identify that there may be a concern for normal pressure hydrocephalus based on your physical exam findings and imaging findings, then we would proceed with a confirmatory test, which is often a lumbar puncture or spinal tap. And in some cases, we may have to do that a number of times or have an inpatient procedure where we continually drain fluid. And that helps us identify if you would be a candidate for a more definitive procedure where we put in what's called a ventriculoperitoneal shunt where we are continually draining fluid from the brain down into the belly. And those patients that do respond tend to do well and we start to see improvements in some of their symptoms which include walking difficulties, urinary difficulties, and memory difficulties. And ultimately, we have a very streamlined approach to identifying the right patients, and even after surgery, helping you manage your shunt, identifying the correct setting, and dealing with any issues that may arise.